Hello, this is Robert Malikian. Um, I would like to take you through step-by-step -step installation of Oracle Rack 10G Release 2 on a VMware on a Linux CentOS OS 4 um, distro. For these purposes, I'd like to follow roughly the Oracle base um, install procedure. Uh, I like Oracle base because its instructions are very clear and for this sort of purposes it's quite nice to be able to follow um, versus following Oracle documentation itself is excellent, no question about that but um, there you need to be able to cipher through different OS's and you need to be very uh, particular in terms of what you choose and how to proceed with that as here, they've done the hard work for us and actually put in most of the hard work down. So, a little bit of knowledge, you can do a lot. And once you install this, you will get more confidence to be able to install in a proper production environment. Uh, let's start, as the time is short, by creating a virtual machine. Um, I will follow Oracle Base's naming procedure. Uh, and we'll call it Rack 1 for the first node and second node we'll call Rack 2 but uh, we'll follow the documentation uh, loosely um, I have downloaded CentOS 4 um, so Enterprise um, Linux would be a good candidate for that um, Record rack usually requires one and a half gig of memory. I'm using two gig uh, as I've got a, got a beefy machine in here with six gig of RAM. So I should be able to have even a four node rack running on this. I will start with the two nodes and I will add further nodes to it as the system grows. Um, Having some issues with problems. Um, okay, let's have a virtual disk. The default is 8 gig. I'm going to use 80 gig. Again, I've got loads of space. I will use this space later on to do a hot and cold backup as well as RMAN backup as well. So I will document that too. Uh, network card. Uh, bridge is good. Actually, I will need two network cards, but I, will inst I can't do it immediately. I will do it once um, the initial st stages are over. I'll, as I said, I downloaded the ISO of DVD, so I'll use that for my installed media. Floppy I don't have, or I don't need. USB I don't need. And majority of hardware is there. And all we need is another network card, uh, which I will add now. Bridge. Um, okay, machine is ready to be started. Uh, for install, uh, for Linux install, I will choose the default as much as I can. There are one or two places that I will be um, changing. I'm following the instructions from Oracle Banks. Uh, my IP addresses are slightly different to what they're recommending. But that's not a, a major issue. I don't need any CDs to be checked. And we'll proceed to install. Put some light. Evening's approaching, so it's getting dark. Okay, let's proceed with installing uh, 
CentOS language is fine. Um, I choose uh, let's see. you could choose any uh, options above, but as it is um, going to be Oracle, the user the server, I will accept the default. Um, what is sort of important is the amount of swap space you create. If you're going to do this manually, make sure that you have um, at least two times your memory, two times your memory. Um, but if you have like 16 gig, you don't really need 32 gig of memory uh, swap space. Anything over two gig or three gig is enough. But if you have shorter than that, you could create it actually later on on the fly. Uh, I might do a demo for that as well. But for now, uh, that should be good. This is where I need to do a certain manipulation of um, the system. My IP range is on 192.168.0.1. Second network card, I use the subnet two and two five five two five five two five five zero of this two. Um, I like to change the local host. <coughs> we call it a rack one. Gateway is on one nine two one six eight zero one one nine two one six eight zero one four five with the as well. Um I need to disable firewall and disable security enhancements. Um, um, in Los Angeles, so I choose Los Angeles time. Get root password. So that's it. And now the. There are a few packages we should. We need X window to be able to, <clears throat> to be able to run the GUI to install the Oracle later on. Uh, graphical internet to be able to follow the instructions. We don't need. Um, we need the FTP server because we will be using our login and our share to be able to manage our nodes um, go with the network services development tools we need um, Legacy software for sure, and system tools. If I've missed anything, it's not a big deal because I would be able to pick them up later on. I'm going to let this run because it takes quite a while. And once it's finished and it's ready to go to the next stage, I will come back. So, see you at the other end of this install.